Mm. Can I say this, that uh, looking at the example that we have in our project, mm. persons with disability in the beginning were considered to be full-time dependents on others to do things for themselves. Yes. So in line with the theme of this year, necessarily not to be a leader to lead somebody else, but uh, among the activities that we really want to highlight, the center is able to help this young, the children and the young youth to do one thing that I believe even you, you like, to use toilets by their own. Mm -hmm. So the center has, able to train, has been able to train most of those young people to go to toilet by their own, which something in the beginning was you have to do everything for them. So this for us we feel is a good progress yes. and also the, 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 the project as we look forward to it is to, ha to help them lead their own lives, mm -hmm. be free so that they don't sit in the corners of streets asking people to give them money but they can do their own life. And one thing I must say before I end is that the center also has an area where perhaps Richard will highlight more. Yes. Uh, this is a place where we have farming project. Mm -hmm. And some of those young, you're the youth, grow their own vegetables. And at the end of the day, even if they leave the center at the age of 18, 20, 21, they're able to manage their own life. All so right. that is a sign of leadership. So leadership, according to me, is not necessarily I have to lead you but also be in position to manage your own life. Mm -hmm. And this makes parents to be free so that the parents with the children or youth with disability can get time to do other things rather than sitting in one place taking care of one f a family member and yet they could be having other siblings. Mm -hmm. Leadership to you is empowering the other individuals yeah. to be able to stand on their self, by mm -hmm. themselves. 